Dutch Courage Campaign Mission 13. The Dutch Strike Back. IL-2, 1946. We're going to go offensive. And we're going to escort these twin-engine bombers. They look like flying manatees. And the Wehrmacht is all over our countryside. Airborne landings, Blitzkrieg, mechanized forces. We're going to do what we can to stop their advance. John Wayne with wooden clogs and a pistol. Our target is a bridge to keep a mechanized unit from crossing over it into the far east side of our beloved country. And we're approaching the bridge. We can make it out. Our bombers are just up ahead to the right. And they scored hits all over it. We're going to try to suppress this Orbital Wind AAA gun. And we got hits all over it. Our bomber flight was right on target. There's an entire squadron of Panzer Mark IIs. They're trapped. So we're going to put some guns on the Panzers. Only 30 caliber, but we put some hits all over them. We're able to do so because the Werbel wind is still suppressed. All right, we're going to head back to our bomber escort. And we can see the, uh, our BDA is looking real good. Bridge is completely down. However, some Luftwaffe fighters are approaching our bombers from altitude. We're going to have to push our engine. Try to clear the six of our bomber flight of two. We got a 109 approaching uh, one of our flight. We got shots out. Hopefully with bullets whizzing by, the Luftwaffe pilot won't be able to hit his target. So far the plan looks effective. The 109 is just outpowering us. But we did clear our bomber six. Now the enemy aircraft is dropping down. We're going to use that to our advantage and cut inside, close the gap. We're going to catch him in a climb. Oh, we scored some hits. Oh, we'd set the enemy aircraft ablaze. Get out, man. Get out. 
All right, we're going to drop our nose down to pick up some airspeed. We pick up another 109 coming out of snows up. Oh, we scored a big hit. We set another one ablaze. But we really pushed our engine to its limits, so we're going to have to head back to our base. And our engine held together long enough for us to make it back to our airfield. This was a very encouraging mission for our Air Force. We really showed the enemy that we're still in the war. And occupation is not going to be easy. All right, touchdown. Not a bad landing. Well, our engine sputtering. But it still got us back to base. Really abused it. And you kind of have to. As the German planes are so much faster than ours. We got a mission victory. All right, let's taxi off the runway. Let's head over to the hangars. All right, let's get some air. All right, the war horse brings us back. Let's check our score. Well, we got credit for two air to airs, uh, but most importantly, our escort was a success. The bombers reached the target and they also knocked it out. So we picked up two more air-to-air -air victories. Let's go to the gun camera. And this is the approach on the Whirlwind. We've got shots all over it. Although they're only 30 calibers, they did suppress the crew. We've got multiple hits. And then we're going to flip it around on a Panzer Mark II. Again, light caliber guns, but solid hits. Enough to rattle a Panzer crew. Alright, here's our initial approach on the 109E that's heading away. He goes into a climb. But we had the airspeed to follow up and eventually line up a good shot. It took us a while, but at the top of his climb, he set his aircraft to blaze. Then as we push our nose down to regain airspeed, again, Fortune is with us. We nose down right into the incoming path of a 109. And we're able to get a good lineup and put a bunch of shots into his grill. Well, guys, I hope you like this campaign. It sure is a good one. Please subscribe to follow along our campaign progress. Thanks for watching. We'll see you up again soon.